cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Good afternoon to all the parents, teachers, and learners all over the Philippines watching us live through Deped EdTech Unit, Deped Tayo, Deped Philippines Facebook pages, and Deped TV official YouTube channel. We are on the eighth week and last week of English for quarter four. So be ready with your modules, paper, pen, pencil as we journey in the amazing world of English for. And as we go on with our tutorial this afternoon, you can also comment your answers for the activities uh, in the comment section below. And speaking of which, I will be go I, I will be checking the comment section right now. And uh, of course, I have my regulars uh, here with me uh, this afternoon. Actually, it's a it's a rainy and gloomy afternoon here in uh, in Negros Occidental, where I'm from. But I know for a fact that that is not going to dampen our spirits for our last Etoli session for quarter four, and as a matter of fact, for the whole school year. All right, so let me start with saying hello. A huge shout out to Josh Lacre. Good afternoon po, watching from Tuktukan Giginto Bulacan. Grade four, Apolinario Mabini with, uh, and, and he wants to give a huge shout out to uh, his teacher, Mom Grace Pichardo. Hello, hello, and of course, Mika Mariel Bernardo. Good afternoon po, Tutor Ace, watching from Tuktukan Giginto Bulacan. Grade four, Juan Luna, uh, elementary school teacher is Mom Mona Lisa Cardina, uh, Cardenas. Hello, hello po. And of course, we, we also have here with us, um, <clears throat> Alva. Ignacio Borja, watching from Pasano Rizal, uh, Calamba, Laguna. Gabriel Kerubin, good afternoon. Angel Zafra, watching po from Tuktukan Elementary School, grade four, Gregorio Del Pilar. And uh, she wants to give a huge shout out to uh, her teacher, Mom Aleph Lumano. Gayon. And of course, we want to say hi as well to Michael Chumacera, uh, watching from uh, Escudero. Uh, Memorial School Santa Santa Elena, San Pablo City. Hello, hello. And uh, of course, to everyone who's tuned in right now, wherever you are in the Philippines, good afternoon and welcome to our Eat Life session. And might as well, I might as well add to that. I just want to say, uh, give out a huge shout out to, uh, to, to, to the teachers of Enrique B. Magalona National High School, uh, Sir Rafi, Miss Joy, uh, Mam Feliz Bidonia, uh, Sir Ike Dominic Halwin, of course, from uh, Dos Hermanas Elementary School, and to all of the teachers, my beloved uh, and very supportive principal, Mam Rosie G. Chaga, and uh, the same could be said with uh, 
uh, for, for our uh, PSDS, Sir Bomba Taliones, and our SDS, Mama Marcet Sabaluka, and of course, to the division of Negros Occidental. All right. So uh, there are actually a lot of people that uh, I want to give a huge shout out to, especially here from the comment section, coming from the students themselves. But uh, we, we don't really have that much time right now. So let's go ahead and proceed, uh, proceed with our e session uh for this afternoon okay all right so i know that everyone's all that, that everyone is all set for uh our last e session for for this school year and for this quarter as well now mind you my dear students if you can remember uh last week binigay ko ito sa inyo binigyan ko kayo ng link that you can access uh this is actually quiz is link and the and, and the link to that quiz well this was given to you last week, and uh, I was already able to receive uh, responses from uh, fr from some of our uh, uh, viewers, from some of our students, that they were able to finish it and that they uh, passed it with flying colors. So what we're going to be doing this afternoon is we are going to review those answers, and that will be our final assessment for this school year. And, uh, of course, uh, Sir Jeff, uh, Derek Jeff, is actually going to post the... Um, the link for this quiz sa ating comment section. So uh, uh, I, I want you to look out for that, all right? So there it goes. Uh, th thank you, Derek Jeff. We have HTTPS, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash quiz is review two. Okay, very simple. Actually, on your end, all you have to do is just to simply click on the link jan na pinos ng uh, ni, ni Derek Jeff, okay? All right. Well, these are actually ways of uh, accessing it. You can actually go to this link or might as well. The link is also provided there. But again, like I said, the easiest way to do it is to simply click on the link that has been commented by uh, Direct Jeff Jan's I think, comment section. OK, there it goes. Uh, but nevertheless, I've already, I've already, I know for a fact that some of you uh, my, my dear students were able to finish this one as well. So for those who were able to finish it, if you decide to uh, go ahead and uh, answer this one as a review, then that's that's perfectly fine with me, okay? So let me go ahead and try to check my uh, my quiz is tab. I will be checking kung ilang students na ba ngayon. And, and uh, I'm going to be flashing that one on your screen as well. Now, for those of you who might not be able to access it, uh, siguro uh, na nahihirapan kayo, I still want you to comment your answers don't say in comment section. Okay, no worries about that. This is only a review, by the way. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, proceed to my... Um, let me change my screen to... Okay. That's how it should be looking like. Okay, there it is right now. Okay. Take a Sige. So I will be starting the quiz right now. I already have uh, six participants here with me. And I also uh, joined. I, I have another tab for that to join. Na parang ako yung uh, isa sa mga participants dyan, So I can, uh, I can help you out as well. All right. Sige. Teka lang, ha? Okay, that's the first question right there. What do we call the style of writing used to report news stories uh, in the newspapers, television broadcasts, on the radio, and on the internet? Okay, so I'll be answering. The answer for that one is, there it goes. All right, so we're just waiting. I actually gave you 60 seconds for this one. Okay, sige. I will be waiting for your uh, comments as well, setting comment section, so that I may check. All right, so while we're waiting on that one, okay. All right, the correct answer for that question is, what do we call the style of writing used to report news stories? That's actually journalistic writing. Okay, that's the correct answer right there. All right, so let's proceed with our next uh, question. Okay, here goes our next question.
Okay, the next question is, what type of journalistic writing covers any new information and a current event or unusual situation? The options that we have there, we have feature, news, opinion, and sports. Okay, 60 seconds to answer. And um, I will be giving my answer uh, in the last minute. But, uh, but you would have uh, time to think about or to... Uh, to check kung ano nga ba yung tamang sagot natin dyan. Again, new information. I would like you to focus on those words. Current event is also a clue right there, my dear students. Okay, again, uh, the options are uh, feature, uh, news, opinion, and sports. Okay, so we have 10 seconds left. All right, ano kaya? Feature, news, opinion, or sports? I'll give my answer. Okay, there goes my answer for question number two. Time is up. And the correct answer for that one is definitely news. Okay, ayan. All right, <laughs> okay, see again. All right, let's proceed with our next question. That's question number three. And we have three second, uh, three second countdown before the um, question appears. Okay, here goes. What type of journalistic writing contains elements of news but functions to humanize, add color, educate, entertain, and illuminate? Okay, the options that we have there, uh, we have news, opinion, sports, and feature. Again, my dear students, 60 seconds for you to be able to answer this one. I would like you to focus on the words uh, humanize. Add color, educate, entertain, and illuminate. That would give you a clue kung anong uri ng uh, journalistic writing ito. News ba ito? Opinion kaya ito? Sports or feature? Okay. We have 21 seconds left. Let me go ahead and check our uh, comment section. Fiona, uh, feature, according to her. Samantha Karan, feature. Uh, Angel, also answered feature. Okay, there you go. Tignan nga natin. Oh, all right. Baka mahuli ako nito. Okay. I would answer, sige, yun yung answer ko, okay. All right, time is up. The correct answer is feature. Okay, do not forget that. If it adds color, the purpose is to entertain. That is uh, a feature article. Okay, next question, my dear students. Okay, here goes. All right. <clears throat> What type of journalistic writing expresses the personal belief of the writer about timely issues? Okay. The options that we have still, uh, hindi naman tayo uh, lalayo sa ating mga options. We still have the four of them to choose from. Opinion, news, feature, and sports. Once again, the question is, what type of journalistic writing expresses the personal belief of the writer about timely issues? Okay. All right. So, the hint here, the words that you should be focusing on in order to distinguish uh, kung anong uri ng journalistic writing ito, that should be the words personal belief. Okay, let me check our comment section. Franny Sandoval, opinion. Sophia, opinion. And uh, Fiona, Angel, also answered opinion. All right, how many uh, seconds do we have left? Okay, parang nawala yung mouse ko. Ah. All right, okay. I believe I was able to uh, input my answer as well. The correct answer there is, okay, the correct answer there is opinion. Okay, there it goes. All right. Now, um, I should be able to show you the leaderboard. But anyway, mamaya natin is to show yan kung sino yung ating mga top performers uh, quiz na ito. Okay, let's proceed to the next question because we don't have a lot of time right now. All right, next. Okay, what type of journalistic writing pertains to sports topics and competitions? This one is a giveaway, all right? This is very, very easy. Doon pa lang sa tanong. Malalaman at malalaman na natin kung ano yung tamang sagot dito. Okay? All right. Sige. So uh, I'm giving you again 60 seconds to answer this one. Let me go ahead and check our comment section as well. Fiona answered sports. Micah Venturan. Venturanza answered sports as well. Kian also answered sports. Ayon. Fiona. All right. Sige, sige. We're going to check. Jo Jocelyn Bitongan also answered sports. Okay. All right. This one is uh, pretty easy. I think everyone was able to answer at least the uh, end ng uh, quizzes natin. 
All right, sige. So let me input my answer for this one. Okay, we're waiting for the 60 second timer to be up. Okay, there goes. The correct answer for that question, my dear students, is. All right, tignan nyo natin. Okay. All right, the correct answer is, siyempre, sports, uh, sports writing or sports article yan. Okay, sige. All right, let's proceed to the next question. Sige. Three second countdown until the next question. Here it goes. News reports have a certain structure that needs to be followed. This structure is sometimes called the blank. Now, here's the thing, my dear students. Wala na tayong, uh, wala na tayong choices dito. So this will be a short answer type of quiz or fill in the blanks. Kumbaga. Okay, again, news reports have a certain structure that needs to be followed. This structure is sometimes called the blank. All right. Sige. Sige. Tignan nyo natin. All right. I will be checking the comment section right now. Uh, okay. Mika Venturanza answered. Inverted pyramid? Inverted pyramid nga ba yung answer natin? Tignan nga natin. All right. Sige. Medyo bumagal yung uh, comment section natin sa question number six. Okay. Uh, no worries about that. Tignan natin if you got the correct answer. How many minutes do, or how many seconds do we have left? Okay. The correct answer there is... Okay, yo, nakahabol pa si Teacher A sa pag-submit ng kanyang answers. Okay, all right. So, the correct answer for that one is, my dear students, inverted pyramid. Okay, let's not forget about that. Most important uh, most important details found at the top, least important doon sa ilalim. That's why the form is an inverted pyramid. Okay? Sige. All right. So, let me check. Okay, sige. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay. All right, the next question is, the blank is the first paragraph in a news article and informs the reader of the most important aspects of the story. Okay, once again, uh, the format is, is, is the same. You still have to supply the answer to the blank. Again, the blank is the first paragraph in a news article and informs the reader of the most important aspects of the story. Okay, what is the correct answer for that one? All right, tingnan nga natin. Okay, Mika answered introduction. Angel answered lead. All right, Fiona also answered lead. How many uh, seconds do we have left? We have 23 seconds left para sa ating mga quizzes uh, participants. Okay, Angel Zafra, lead. Okay, Sophia, uh, Athena, Perolina answered lead. Okay, let me type in my answer. All right, and submit that one for you. Okay. Sige. Three seconds left. The correct answer is, okay, that one is lead. Okay, yon. Now, if you can see, uh, my dear students, uh, found, you know, if, if you're going to look at the upper right uh, corner of your screen, I'm actually on third. So allow me to provide you with our leaderboards. Let me check if I can access that one right now. Or better yet, I'll give that one to you. Sige. Ay, ayun. Parang hindi ko pa makita. All right. So anyway, I'll just give you a review of the leaderboards later on. Let's proceed to our next question. Okay. Sige. Okay. Next question. The blank is the main title of the newspaper story and is usually printed in large letters at the top of the story. Once again, the blank is the main title of the newspaper story and is usually printed in large letters at the top of the story. Okay, 60 seconds, my dear quizzes participants. All right, let me check our comment section. Mika answered the headline. Fiona also answered headline. Uh, all right, sige. Yes, it's the title, but we have may specific tayong tinatawag doon, especially if it relates to uh, a news article. Sa kontekstong yon. Ano ba yung tawag natin sa title? Ayan. All right. What do you think is the correct answer? Uh, okay. Fiona answered headline. All right. Sige. I'm checking that one right now. I'll put in my answer as well. Okay. Sige. Tignan nga natin. All right. Time is up. The correct answer for that question is definitely headline. Okay. Now, 
Top one, Mika Bernardo, 5,760 points. Number two, Arnaj. Um, it's... It, you know, it's it's not really his real name na his or her. I'm not really so sure if it's a he or she. Pero uh, code name yung nakalagay. So Arnach in uh, in uh, second spot. All right, so get. Let's go ahead and proceed to the next question. Okay. Here goes our next question. The blank shows who wrote the story. Again, the blank shows who wrote the story. Okay, 60 seconds to answer. Dito mo mo lalaman kung sino yung author, sino yung nagsulat ng news article na yun. All right? Sige. Fiona answered byline. Tama kaya yung byline? Is it really the byline that tells you uh, who wrote the story? Tignan natin mamaya. All right? Sige. Yes, author. Uh, pero may tawag tayong specific sa, sa part na to na kung saan mo makikita or kung, kung saan mo makikilala kung sino yung author. Yon. May specific tayong tawag dyan. Angel also answered byline. Byline nga kaya yung tamang answer dito? Sige, we're gonna check that one later on. How many uh, seconds do we have left? All right. Ten seconds left, my dear students. Okay, sige. The blank shows who wrote the story. Let me encode my answer. <laughs> okay. Sige. Okay. Time is up. The correct answer for that one is... Byline still Mika, uh, in first spot, Arnaj, second spot, Lexer in third place. All right, sige, let's proceed, my dear students. Next question, Tayo. Okay, question number two. I'm sorry, not question number two. <laughs> okay, the blank of the news article is split into paragraphs and gives more details and provides more information about the why and how of the story. 60 seconds to type in your answer. Okay, once again, the blank of the news article is split into paragraphs and gives more details and provides more information about the why and the how of the story. What do you think is the correct answer here? Mika uh, in the comment section said body. Fiona also answered body. Angel also answered body. Seeking it. Okay, we have 25 seconds left uh, for, this, uh, <clears throat> for this question. All right. Body nga kaya, kaya yung answer. Rafael Gamboa also answered body. Okay, sige. Right, we only have a couple of seconds left. I'll encode my answer. Tingnan natin if tama nga yung body as, you know, the, the, the one that's being split into paragraphs and gives more details. Okay. All right, time is up. The correct answer is, of course... The body of the news article still in top one. Micah, third. Arnaj, number four. Uh, number three, sorry. Second was Arnaj. Number three is still Lexer. Okay, congratulations, everyone. Let's proceed to our next question. Okay, here goes our next question. Basketball. Ito medyo may babasayan tayo dito. Medyo mahaba haba to. Basketball, uh, what type of journalistic writing is this? Uh, although you don't really have to read the whole thing, but that should already give you an idea. May mga words dito na clues that would serve. I'm sorry, the, uh, there are words here that would serve as clues or hints as to what type of journalistic writing is this. Okay, allow me to read a couple of sentences kung uh, hanggang saan uh, yung mababasa ko. Basketball is a team sport in which two teams, most commonly of five players each, opposing one another on a rectangular court, compete with the primary objective of shooting the ball through, def through the defender's hoop. All right, is that feature, opinion, news, or sports? What do you think is the correct answer? How many seconds do we have left? We have 14 seconds. Okay, like I said, kahit hindi mo nabasahin lahat, malalaman malalaman mo yan based sa mga clues na nandun agad. All right, I'll type in my answer, or I'll uh, click my answer, rather. Okay, Alexander from the comment section answered sports, and yes, that is definitely the correct answer. Okay, Micah, Arnaj, Lexer, Marga, Roland, Borja. Okay, that's that's our leaderboards. Okay, next question tayo, my dear students. Okay, everyone's doing great, by the way. Mapa quizzes mayan or mapa dito sa comment section. Here goes our next question. What type of journalistic writing is this? A loud crash was heard Friday morning at the gates of Kalang Primary School. The accident between a school bus and a car belonging to a parent happened in the midst of morning rush hour. Okay, ano kaya to? Is this feature? 
uh, does it, is it opinion? Is it about personal belief? Is it is it news it, or is it sports? What do you think? Okay, so while I'm waiting for your uh, answers, okay, ito na pala. Mariana Paula Villanueva answered news. Rafael uh, De Cayana also answered news. Uh, Vilma Samora wants to say hello to everyone watching from Coyago Elementary School in Caraga. All right, sige. How many seconds do we have left? We have 10 seconds left. I'd like you to put in or encode your answers sa ating comment section. And for quizzes participants, okay. My answer for this one is... Uy, nahuli si uh, Shooter Asa pag-click doon. Ah. But anyway, the correct answer for that one is actually news. Okay. All right. Sige. Let's check our leaderboards. All right. Or give, bigyan ko na lang kayo ng... Ano, ng uh, uh, ng recap mamaya ng ating leaderboards. But the correct answer for that one was actually um, uh, news. Ayan. Sige. All right, let's proceed. What type of journalistic writing is this? Okay. My clue sa dito. Fast food may taste good, but it is not good for you. You should not eat it very often. This food does not have the vitamins and nutrients that you need. Healthy food will help you grow strong and healthy. There are extra calories and fat in fast food. Fast food restaurants also give you servings that are too big. Every once in a while, it is fun to go out and have a fast food meal. In order to stay healthy, these meals should not. All right. Okay. Uh I should be able to, all right, should not be eaten all the time. Choose healthier food to, to keep a healthy diet. All right. See again. We only have 10 seconds left. Comment section, we have a combination between feature and opinion. What do you think is the correct answer? Okay. I'll put in my answer. See again. All right. <clears throat> Okay, ayan. Sige, the correct answer there is actually opinion. Okay, Mika Bernardo is st still in top one. Lexer, uh, Arnaj, top two, top three, Lexer. Ayan. Sige, next question tayo. Let's proceed, my dear students. Next one. Um, next question, that is, what type of journalistic writing is this? I'd like you to focus on sa style ng pagsusulat. It's a good thing Alan Jamir was blessed with a big, bright smile because the man people call Mr. Optimism is seldom without one. Jamir spreads sunshine wherever he goes, based in an unflappable attitude rooted in his beloved optimist organization's positive creed. Jammer, as he's known from the mispronunciation of his last name, correctly pronounced as Hamir, is involved with no less than nine different organizations. Yung clues natin dito. Sige, I'll discuss that one later on. Sige, tignan nga natin. Mica answered feature. Alexander feature. Fiona also answered feature. Uh, okay. Sige, tignan nga natin. If this is indeed a feature article. I will also, uh, I will also uh, input my answer here. Sige. All right. I also answered feature and definitely feature is indeed the correct answer because if you notice class, maraming adjectives done. Uh, a color was added sa pagamit ng adjectives like bright, sunshine, and all that. And, and all those na nakita natin kanina. Okay? Sige. That's the reason kung bakit nangin, uh, naging feature article yun. And uh, the purpose of that was to, in a way, entertain, to illuminate. Okay. Sige. Let's proceed. Next question tayo. Okay. Now, uh, forgive me, my dear students, baka hindi masyadong makita sa inyo dyan, pero sa ating mga quizzes participants, pwede nilang, pwede, uh, pwede nilang ma-zoom in yan. Okay. Oy, yun pala. May uh, hindi lang na click sa teacher. Pero yung question natin is, what is the headline of this news report? And allow me to click on the picture para mas makita ninyo. All right. Again, what is the headline of this news report? Sige. All right. So, uh, a uh, huge shout out to Geraldine uh, Adhula watching from Zamboanga City. Hello, hello. All right. Uh, okay. Now, I understand the strug struggle para sa ating mga uh, students na magta-type through the comment section kasi medyo mahaba-haba to. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, no worries about that if, if uh, you're not able to do that, that one right now. Okay. Let me go back there. Okay. 
I'll uh, put in my answer kung uh, alin dito yung headline. Okay, there goes our headline, Malacanang Suspense Classes and Government Work. Okay, remember, the headline is actually the title of the news report. And you would know na headline yan kasi uh, it's written in large letters and um, it's it's the one that's very, very eye-catching out of all of the uh, the words and uh, sentences and paragraphs na makikita nyo dyan. So again, that is our headline. Okay, well done, everyone. So again, next question tayo. Okay, get ready to answer our next question. Okay, next question is, same news article tayo, pero ibang tanong naman. Who wrote the news report? Okay, can I still uh, click on this? All right, try ko. Ayun. Again, the question is, who wrote the news report? Ano nga ba yung tawag natin doon sa part ng uh, news article na malalaman natin kung sino yung author? That's what we call the byline. So doon sa byline natin, sino ba yung sumulat ng news report niyan? Okay. Sige. Ayun. Uh, uh, some of our students were able to uh, find easier ways para ma para mabigay yung answers nila without without having to type the whole thing. That's very uh, ingenious of you. Um, pink box, yun. Binigay na lang nila yung color ng boxes. Okay. Sige. But for this one, medyo konti lang naman yung, yung uh, itatype. Okay. All right. Sige. I'll put in my answer. This one's very easy. Okay. The correct answer for that one is who wrote the news report that is Juan de la Cruz according sa news article na nakita natin uh, kanina. So well done, everyone, if you were able to identify uh, based sa ating byline kung sino yung sumulat ng ating news report. Okay. Sige. Next question tayo. All right. <clears throat> Sige, what is the lead of the news report? Okay, sige. So just like what some of our students uh, did earlier, uh, you can identify the color of the box. Uh, kung, uh, kung ano yung answer ninyo. Okay, again, what is the lead of the news report? Okay, that should be enough time para mas makita ninyo yung uh, choices natin. <clears throat> Blue box, malakanyang suspense classes. Uh, the uh, teal a uh, colored box, teal kaya to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Juan de la Cruz, and then the yellow colored box, suspension of work, and then, doon sa pink colored box, meron tayong Manila, Philippines. Okay. Blue-green, we can also uh, refer to that as blue-green pala. Para nakalimutan ni Chutora. Okay, what do you think? Is it the red one, the yellow one, the blue-green, or the blue one? All right. Sige. How many seconds do we have left? We have four seconds left. Okay, I will also put in my answer for this one. Okay, Raphael, answer red or pink, depende. Um, okay, sige. But the correct answer, yes, is indeed the uh, red or the pink box. Ma Manila, Philippines declared a two-day suspension. And remember, the lead is the first paragraph and can be found below the headline, if not below the byline. Okay, sige. Proceed tayo. Next question tayo, my dear students. All right. Next question, here goes. What is the conclusion or ending of the news report? Sige. Sige, I will, uh, I will click on the uh, news report or on the image that contains the news report para makita ninyo kung, or para ma-identify ninyo kung alin yung conclusion. Sige nga, ano nga, uh, I want you to recall, ano, paano, nga, paano nga natin malalaman ang conclusion yan? Sige. All right. So let's, Allow me to go back to the choices here. So blue box, so we have Juan de la Cruz. The blue-green box, uh, Manila, Philippines, Malacanang declared a two-day suspension. Yellow box, suspension of work in the private sector. And the red or the pink box, rather, Executive Secretary Salvador, Executive, Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea announced the suspension. Okay, Cecil answered yellow box. Okay, uh, all right, I'm checking our comment section right now. So get the correct answer for this one. Okay, I'll put in my answer. And the correct answer is the one in the yellow box. Remember, pag sinabi natin conclusion, that's the last uh, paragraph ng ating news article. And that's that's the ending. Uh, usually with the least important details or uh, would leave something for our listeners, I mean uh, the readers, to uh, to think about. Yun yung uh, purpose ng ating, uh, ng ating uh, conclusion. 
All right. So yeah, we are down to our last two or three questions. Okay. Which paragraphs compose the body of the news report? Okay. So I'll be clicking on the news report once again. So <clears throat> we have the headline, we have the byline, we have the lead, the body, and the article. Alin paragraphs kaya? Is it paragraph one and two? Okay, let me go ahead and check the uh, options here. So far, we only have four paragraphs lang naman sa ating news article. So I want you to identify which paragraphs compose the body of the news report. Is it paragraphs one and two for the blue box? The blue-green says two, three, paragraphs two and three. Yellow box says three and four. And the pink box says paragraphs one and four. Okay, again, body. Where can we usually find the body? All right. Sige. Geraldine answered yellow box. Okay. All right. Sige. <laughs> okay. May ibang colors dito. Ah. Para, all right. Let me go there. Okay. Hindi na ka-answer si uh, uh, tutor na, na, na nahuli ako sa pag-click uh, ng answer. But the correct answer for that one is actually paragraphs two and three. So that was the yellow box. Okay. Sige. All right. Let's proceed. Next question tayo, my dear students. Okay, <clears throat> ito, medyo may konting comprehension, or this is actually a reading comprehension. Why did Malacanang declare a two-day suspension of government work and classes? Again, why did Malacanang declare a two-day suspension of government work and classes? Okay, sige. That's our news article right there. Okay, we have the why. Bakit nagkaroon tayo ng, uh, ng uh, two-day suspension? Where can we usually find that? If it's important, where can we usually find that? Okay, sige. I believe that you were able to uh, go over. Nabasa nyo na yung news article natin pa ulit, -ulit na uh, since uh, question number 15, if I'm not mistaken. Option number one, blue box because of nationwide transport strike. Blue green because of the holiday season. Yellow box because of the typhoon. Pink box because of a government official's birthday. Ano kayong correct answer natin dyan? Okay. Sige, I'll put in my answer. Okay, comment section answered the blue box, and you're actually correct. Meron tayong to the suspension, according to the news, meron tayong to the suspension because of a nationwide transport strike. So you are correct. Okay, Ian Ponzalan, Mariana, well done. Okay, sige, proceed tayo. Next question, question number 20, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, itong part na to, uh, um, ano to, essay, uh, essay, th this would be the essay part of the quiz na binigay ko sa inyo. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if you can uh, actually cram yung uh, pag-answer uh, dito. Uh, pero para dun sa mga nakapag-answer nung binigay ko to nung last, and they were able to submit that, I judged their answers based on the content, which is four points, organization and style which is uh, three points, conventions, uh, grammar, and the like, that would be another three points. So the question was, do you find our lesson apl applicable to real life? And why is it important to know about the features and elements of journalistic writing? Okay, see you again. So allow me to, <clears throat> uh, okay. Meron ako my answers dito from, uh, from, from the quiz is, uh, from our quizzes participants. Um, this is coming from Mika, although Mika was already able to answer this one previously. Uh, yung answer niya ngayon, kasi I, I know that we, we only have limited time. Sabi niya, yes, because it helps us learn with what is happening around us. Okay. Anyone from the comment section? Kahit, uh, kahit ano lang? Kahit ano bang tawag dito? Kahit uh, short lang? Sige. Let me go ahead and try to check. Sige. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Sige, I actually gave, uh, para dun sa, na, sa mga nakapag-answer nung last time, I gave 15 minutes for this one uh, so that you can compose your thoughts and type them in. So allow me to end the quiz right now. Oi, by the way, we have from Marga. Uh, she said, yes, I learned uh, how to, uh, I learned step by step on how to make my own story, or I'm sure that she's referring to a new story here. Um, and I learned that it's not to start uh, to ending or something like that. Maybe she means na uh, 
yung inverted pyramids uh, structure, y yun ba yung ibig mong sabihin, Marga, if I'm not mistaken? We have here another answer. It is important to know about the features and elements of journalistic writing to be able to deliver news and information clearly and based on facts. That's a very good answer, Arnaj. Okay, Arnaj yung code name niya. All right, sige. Anyone else from... Uh, from the comment section, perhaps? Sige, medyo... I understand, medyo mahaba-haba lang yung or medyo mahihira pa lang tayo sa pag-type ng answers dito. But nevertheless, allow me to uh, end the quiz right now. Once again, congratulations, everyone. Let me go ahead and check this one. Okay. Sige, I'll, 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 end, I'll end our uh, <clears throat> quiz is right now. Sige, let me try to check. Sige, participants view. Let me check this one. Okay. All right. Give me a couple of seconds, my dear students. Okay. Here is the summary of uh, our quiz. Okay. Let me try to check. Okay. I'll try to share this one with you. Okay, sige. Let me check if it's already uh, visible on your end. Okay, ayan. Let's just give it a couple of more seconds. So that's our leaderboard right there. If you can see, uh, our top scorer is actually uh, Maika Bernardo, followed by Arnaj, and third, we have Marga, fourth, Lexer, uh, fifth, uh, th that's me, that's Tutor A, so uh, let's disregard na lang yan. So uh, fifth, we have Rolin, Erika Borja, and then, uh, okay, yun, Brian, Raagas, and then uh, code name, unsafe name, Kian Anthony in Austria, okay. Sige, Arnach. Okay, there we go. Once again, congratulations, everyone. And thank you for participating sa ating uh, quizzes this afternoon. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and present this one to you. Okay, so we are done with our quiz is. Okay. <clears throat> now, Shempre, I already gave this one to you last week. And uh, for those who were able to answer this uh, in, in, in the... Uh, uh, and the time duration that I gave. So here goes our uh, third placer. Um, mind you, para ito sa mga nakapag-answer na nung last week, okay? Sige. Our third placer is, congratulations to Josiah L. Thing is, hindi complete name yung binigay ni Josiah. So nevertheless, congratulations to Josiah. If you're a... Uh, uh, if you're actually tuned, uh, tuned in right now, I want you to comment sa ating comment section so that I can identify you and be able to give you your prize para sa ating, uh, uh, for, for getting the third spot sa ating quiz is. All right. Um, Josiah was able to get uh, the third place with uh, a 76% accuracy and a total score of 15,690 points. Okay. Once again, congratulations, Josiah. All right. Sige. Okay. Let me go back here. <clears throat> okay, sige. For a moment, please. Okay, let's proceed. For the second spot. Okay, sige. Sino kaya yung uh, second placer natin? Okay, second placer, congratulations. Mika Bernardo with an accuracy rating of 86% and a score of 17,840. Mind you, once again, congratulations, uh, uh, Mika, because you also got the top spots sa ating live na quizzes ngayon, which uh, would serve uh, as, as, as a review para sa inyong lahat. But nevertheless, congratulations for getting the second spot when I gave you the quiz last week, okay? Once again, congratulations, everyone. Okay, Josh Lacre, uh, is, Josiah, is it Josh? Is that you? I, I want you to be able to comment if ikaw talaga yan, because I need to identify if, um, pa, pa, para mabigay ko sa'yo yung prize mo. Okay, next, we have, for the first pot, <clears throat> sino kaya yung nakakuha ng ating first pot? Okay, that would be 
Chino Jaime. Congratulations for topping our quiz is with an accuracy uh, rating of 95% and a score of 20,470 points. So once again, congratulations. Okay, si Josh uh, Lacre pala yung Josiah L. Okay, well done. All right, Josh, uh, I'll be taking note of your details later on. Chino, please, if you're here, uh, if you're actually tuning in right now, comment. All right, comment don sa ating comment section para ma-identify uh, kita with uh, with the correct details and so that I can uh, provide you with uh, your uh, your prize, champre from Cheater Ace. Okay, now for our uh, quizzes top performers uh, performers, I will also be providing you with um, this certificate. Uh, allow me to read that one to you. This certificate of recognition is proudly given to. Now I wasn't able to uh, put in the names yet because, like I said, me. Uh, for example, gumamit ng code name, baka mali yung matype ko, so hindi ko muna nilag uh, nilagay dyan. But nevertheless, lalagyan natin ng pangalan yan. Congratulations for winning first, second, or third place, depende yan. In the final assessment for Itulay English 4, signed Almir Cesar Vidikina, English 4, Itulay Tutor. Okay, Fiona, according to Fiona, congratulations po sa lahat. Thank you, thank you, everyone. All right, next, we have, syempre, if you can remember, sinabi kong, uh, magbibigay din ako ng prize sa ating best news article. And uh, the best news article award goes to none other than Mika Marielle Bernardo. Okay, congratulations, Mika. Best news article. Okay, oh, there you go. Uh, Chino Jaime Samonte. Okay, at least I was able to identify you na. Uh, I'll be taking note of your details later on um, before we end uh, uh, our E2I session. But nevertheless, congratulations once again, Mika. Um, her news article goes like this. Allow me to share this one to you. Deadliest Typhoon Strikes the Philippines by Mika Marielle Bernardo. Typhoon Yolanda struck the Philippines in November 2013 with a 235 uh, miles per hour wind speed. In 2013, <clears throat> Typhoon Yolanda is known as the deadliest typhoon in the country. Over 6,000 people lost their lives and over 1 million people's homes were damaged, displacing over 600,000 people. It caused severe damage to some of the Philippines' biggest source of in sources of income, destroying coconut farms all over the islands and greatly affecting local fisheries. Many families lost everything during Typhoon Yolanda and were left struggling okay sige once again congratulations mika and mika will also be receiving a certificate uh which reads this certificate of recognition is proudly given to mika mariel bernardo for winning best news article for eat light english 4 signed by yours truly okay sige and of course Shempre, for everyone who has uh, been with me been with uh, tutor uh, rafi tutor uh, uh theories tutor ace who's been with us for um, for, for the past uh, uh, months, uh, here is your certificate of, of participation, which reads, this certificate of participation is awarded to, uh, I'll give you the liberty to encode your names or type in your names there, for his, her active participation and exemplary performance in the ETLI online tutorial for English 4, given the 6th day of July, 2021, signed by yours truly as well. Now, how will you be able to access this one, my dear students? You can do that by accessing this link, uh, https uh, colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com forward slash English for cert. And I will be asking direct, uh, uh, direct, direct Jeff to post this one so I think comment section so that you can access this one as well. And that will serve as your certificate then. Okay, sige. Okay, there it goes. Uh, thank you, thank you, Kay, uh, Direct Jeff. Okay, huge shout out. All right, Sige, let's proceed. Okay, so my dear students, it pains me to say this, but nevertheless, congratulations. It is definitely uh, bittersweet. It is bitter because, of course, uh, I've grown to love this, uh, our, our uh, Tuesday afternoon sessions, okay? I, it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to be, uh, uh, you know, reminiscing and i'm going to be missing for the next couple of uh cu couple of uh weeks and next couple of months but nevertheless it's also sweet because i know that you've done everything that you can you've done your best um and i could never be you know i couldn't be more proud of what you've uh, achieved sa ating uh sa ating uh, eat play session okay sige and i want to leave you with uh, something here uh sige let me try to check 
Okay, teka lang. All right. So I'll leave you with a quote, simply lang, from Bo Taplin. Sunsets are proof that endings can be beautiful. All right, sige. So, uh, I, I know that everyone loves to see the sunset. You know, it might signal the end, but it's something. You know, it's proof that endings can actually be beautiful. And with that, and on that note, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for um for, for spending your time with me every Tuesday afternoon with Tutor Ace. I will definitely miss every one of you. Thank you so much for your participation, your active participation. That is everyone in the comment section. And of course, um, once again, a huge thank you uh, to, to, to my Debit TV family, my mentors as well, uh, Sir Rafi Birina, Mom Joy, Ms. Joy Aradilios, uh, uh, Mom Feris, uh, Sir Ike Dominic Halloween uh, as well. And of course, to everyone in, uh, in uh, Dep Ed EdTech Unit, uh, Derek Jeff, uh, Derek Madge, Sir Madge, everyone, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, on that note, uh, I guess this is it. So uh, goodbye, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in. And to all the parents, uh, the very supportive parents, teachers, and learners all over the Philippines watching us through Depot EdTech Unit, Depot Tayo, Depot Philippines Facebook pages, and Depot TV official YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, and catch Tutor Mark for English 5. And I I hope that I can still say this. Uh, I'll see you next week, but I know... But like I said, you know, it's th this would be the end of the road for us. So thank you, thank you so much for... Uh, uh for, for your particip participation everyone so i will be once again i will be contacting yung ating mga winners and you can download your certificate so thank you thank you goodbye everyone sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine social media accounts. Paalam!